In this video, I'll show you how to fix your Samsung TV in case apps are not installing. So you're trying to download an app and install it and it doesn't work. What to do? Well, I'll show you a few different tricks and one of them for sure will work. So let's start with the easiest of them. While the TV is turned on, you're going to take your remote control and press the power button during 10 seconds. Do not release it. Okay, even if the TV turns off, do not release the power button. Now it has been five seconds, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and now release the button. It will simply do a restart and hopefully now you'll be able to download the app that you are trying to download. If this didn't work, do not worry, we'll clear the cache of the TV. So how to do this? You're going to take again your remote control and go into the settings. Now, some remote controls have the settings button down below, but if yours do not have such a thing, press the home button once. This will, menu will pop out and then press the left side arrow a few times until you highlight settings over there. Press OK. Now we're going to go down where you see support right there go in this support menu, go on device care, press OK, and device care will launch. If, by the way, device care was grayed out, do not worry, you just have to exit the app that is in the background. Once you're here, you're going to press the OK button to start device care. Wait a few seconds, maybe it will take a minute. And when it's done, press OK once. And we can exit this. Just go press the home button again. And now try downloading the app. If this didn't work, I have another trick. So while the TV is turned on, remove the power outlet. Disconnect it. Now under your Samsung TV, there should be a button. Mine is located right over here on the right side but yours can be located in the middle or even on the left side. What you need to do is to keep press this button during 30 seconds. Do not let it go. Even if the TV is currently unplugged, this will remove any remaining charge. After 30 seconds, you can release the button. Now it's time to wait five minutes. Do not do anything. Do not touch the TV. After this five minutes has passed, Take the power cable and we'll connect it directly to a wall socket. Do not connect to a power strip because sometimes this is causing the problem. After doing this, it's time to turn on your Samsung TV and what you need to do is to turn it on using the same button you used previously. Do not use the remote control. So just by tapping it once the TV should turn on and your problem should be gone. If the, your issue is not solved, another thing that may happen is that your memory is full and there's no more space to install any additional app. To check your memory and delete apps, you need to press the home button once, then the left side arrow until apps is highlighted, press OK. And once you're over here, you're going to see all the apps that are installed on your Samsung TV. If it, this is not what you're seeing, you may see this first screen and you need to go over there where there is uh, the settings icon. Once you launch this, you're going to have this screen and the, on the top right corner, you're going to see how much memory is used and how much is available. And if you want to delete an app, not all apps are deletable. For example, if I want to delete gallery, it's grayed out. You cannot do this, especially the app that came with your TV. Many of them are not deletable. But for example, Spotify here will allow you to delete it and gain more space. So go arrow down, press the middle button. OK, delete. And after a few seconds, it will be deleted and you'll get more memory to install your app. So hopefully one of these solutions work for you. If you have another one, please type it in the comments down below. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.